Hey, what's going on YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists? Welcome to this. This is the 3rd of June and it is pre-order launch day, I suppose. So like a pre-pre-launch, I don't know, whatever. I'm not gonna ramble on about that. But it is the time for the new edition on uh, Games Workshop website and um, in stores and whatnot to pre-order what you want. Now I woke up this morning, I went straight on there, it was like about half a state, nine o'clock, kept going back, oh, there's no, there's no update on it, there's no new thing, there's nothing. And then all of a sudden, bang, it pops up, and there you go, here's all the new stuff. So, this is the Games Workshop website, this is probably where I'm going to order from. If not, I'm going to have a look at what you can pre-order and what I want to pre-order. So let's just have a quick look at what you can order here. Limited edition stuff, whilst it's very nice, I'm probably not going to go for that, especially with that price tag. Uh, scrolling down, here's the Dark Imperium uh, box set, the main, the basic one. 95 quid, now, I've got a couple of options here, but uh, before we go into that, let's just have a look. I don't know why they've done it this way around. Well, I suppose from dearest to cheapest, I imagine. So you've got the limited edition stuff, there which yeah I won't be going for that and this one which looks rather interesting which I'll come back to but um, you got the Dark Imperium box set and a few extras uh, here you've just got the like the cards and dice and uh, what not actually let's have a look actually what you got on there for 90 quid basically what do you get the 280 page uh, hardback book although the actual rules are only about eight sheets long, or eight sides of uh, A4. The core rules, anyway. Uh, so you get objective markers, combat gauge, tactical objective cards, command dice, and wound trackers. So that's what you get in that set. So no actual miniatures in that one, but uh, the book is nice, but you're gonna get that in the, the main set anyway. So let's just go back. So, so that's kind of the book and the extras. That's just like, you get the book in this with the main set. Uh, the index book collection. Now these are what I gather are replacing the codexes. This is all of them the, uh, at the moment. And this is just the rule book which is nice because it's a bit cheaper than the old rule books. Okay, now these index books, which cover quite a bit actually, they seem a lot cheaper than your traditional codexes, which is nice. I double checked, uh, the one I've been needing for my Tyranid would be Xenos 2, because it tells you in here, Tyranids are what it covers, uh, plus orcs, tau, uh, gene stealer cult. So I'll be I'll be needing that for sure because that's my main army, which is fine. I think uh, I think the other one is got necrons and whatnot in if I remember rightly. Anyway, tactical objective cards, which I think you get in that set there. Yeah. So page two. So you got a lot of the, you got a lot of um, uh, ebooks and whatnot here to download as well. Looks like they're doing the start collecting uh, sets with the index books now as well. Hopefully as well, which is nice. Let's see if I was gonna go try and bolster my tyrannies, but I don't really need to because I've got everything on there and some. So I'll just get the book for that one. Uh, Skitari Ox, they're probably going to do all of them, so that's nice. There you go, this is just what you can pre-order. This is going to be the first time I've ever pre-ordered anything. Uh, some storybooks there, Dark Imperium uh, storybook, that'll, that'll probably get you quite into it. 18 quid for that book, oh cool. Won't be paying that. No. Uh, 
Then there's your command dice. This is the dice. Yeah. Space Marine Legends. Uh, all the Martes. That's quite interesting. What's that? Uh, the Martes, the Blood Angels Guardian of the Lost, leads the Death Company into battle and is gripped by a blood madness that reflects his own tortured soul. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. But anyway. So, Command Dice. CD. And the more of the uh, the digital publications. Oh, there's your wound trackers. Now, this combat gauge is quite interesting because it's got like different. Um, uh, different ranges on it. That's the one. Which is quite nice. Yeah, like the Aquila Eagle. Strong at, made from strong at pliable rubber. Uh, eagle, blah blah blah. So you got four edges. You got half inch, one inch, two inch, three inches. So obviously, I would imagine um, those ranges are quite prevalent in the new edition. So yeah, combat gauge. So there you go. Your your one inch is that side. Two inches. Three inches, half inch. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like, I do like those, and um, I've got, you know, I've got a couple myself, uh, and I can't get enough of them. And I do like. That. I'm hoping to get these as well. These free mission cards. Let me explain. If you don't buy them, you get them with. Um, I'll show you what I'm thinking of going for here. I'm thinking of going for this set because you get the Dark Imperium set, obviously, as you can see. Yeah, and all this other stuff. Hopefully, get um, hopefully get the free um, mission cards as well. Get a free deck of 18 reference cards, each featuring a mission from Warhammer 40,000 with your purchase of this product while stocks last. So I'm probably going to try and hopefully get that. Um, you get the tactical objectives. Oh, yeah, the objectives, the wound trackers. Yeah, that, oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Primaris. Look at that. Look. Let's let him load up. Does look pretty cool. It's slow here because I got my my internet connection is quite slow in the studio, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm working on that. I never had internet connection at all for a while, but uh, yeah, so that's cool. And there you go. Uh, hmm. So going back to this, sorry. This is what I'm thinking of getting. I mean, I could go for the, just the basic set and a couple of the books. Thinking of it, but I mean, I I I do I like the look of this this one here. And because I didn't go to salute this year, I have the money put back for it. So. Product is limited to one per order. Look at that look. Anyway, yeah, and the gauge tracker thing there, which is pretty cool. Uh, so that's what I'm thinking of uh, ordering. Right there. Uh, you know, uh, let me know, guys, what you're thinking of going for. Are you going to go for separates? So you're just going to go for the lot. Go for this limited edition thing. I don't even clicked on this, to be honest. It's strictly limited to two thousand copies worldwide. This is just the books, by the looks of it. Oh, you get a double-sided map as well, featuring the uh, Gathering Storm, with exclusive text depicting key events. Uh, but yeah, 
looking good. I mean, that looks lovely. If I had the money, then yeah, of course I would. Of course I would. Oh, look at that. It's, you know, you can't beat it, can you, for presentation? But I just don't have that sort of cash. No, I'll be happy. I think I'll be happy with this for a hundred quid cheaper. All this stuff here, this is what I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for this and probably the Xenos 2 book. Yeah. Because in this set you get the, you get all the data sheets you need for the two armies in here anyway. The, well, the units that you get here. But yeah, that's looking good. So that's probably what I'm going to go for. Let me know what you guys are going for uh, or how you're going to go about it. I'm going into town and momentarily uh, I'm going to go past my games workshop shop. It'll probably be packed, but I'm just going in to sort out the finances to enable me to get this bad boy here. And then obviously I'll do an unboxing for you all when it arrives. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, this is Peter from Mini Warzone signing out. Remember, all brushes lead to war and bye for now folks. Bye bye.